as right now I am privileged to be joined alongside by the undefeated contender, 14-0 with 12 knockouts. He looks to fulfill a lifelong dream as he takes on Gervonta Tank Davis as we welcome from Las Vegas, Nevada, Rolando Roli Romero. Roli, it is great to see you. And, and Roly, give me your thoughts as we are a couple of days away, three days away until fight night, and you finally get an opportunity to put your hands on Trevante Davis. You guys don't like each other for the lightweight championship of the world on Showtime pay-per-view. Three days away, all the cameras are on you. New York, what does this mean to you? About damn time. Just like that. Just about damn time that, we, that this fight is about to happen. You know, we always hear in prize fighting that there are levels to the sport. And being a pay-per-view headliner, it comes with a great deal of responsibility, media obligations, interviews, press conferences. You seem to be enjoying it and soaking it all up. Do you thrive in the limelight? I love this shit. Like, I mean, if you don't like this shit, you don't like your fucking job. You know, you don't want to be a star. I want to be a star. I want to be the best fighter in my era, and I want to be a star. Is this the best you've ever felt in a training camp? You have Larry Wade, your head coach, your trainer, Bullet Cromwell, along with your father in your corner. We saw that you're very, you know, very close to your family on all access. But is this the best camp you've ever had? Of course. Every camp's the best camp I've ever had. So in your mind, what do you think is going to be the difference against Trevante Davis on Saturday? Uh, like during between in, in the ring in the ring what's going to be the difference how are you going to be successful against Trevante Davis I mean there's no way that I can't be successful I mean he's easy to hit and I punch hard harder than everybody he's ever fought I'm faster than everybody he's ever fought I'm more explosive than everyone I might actually be the most explosive fighter in boxing you think so in the, in the history of boxing in the history of boxing I'm the most explosive fighter in the history of boxing and he gets hit by everyone. Everyone that fights him is slow as hell, and he's slow as hell. So there's no reason why he shouldn't take one of these to his face. From a, your standpoint, your judo background, you started boxing only at age 17. You're 26 now. You haven't even been boxing for 10 years. But being at this level, does that go back to the fact of how great of an athlete you are, being from judo and being able to pick up boxing relatively quick? I think it just shows a lot more about my ring IQ than anything else or my combat background, you know? Like, uh, well, my combat IQ, you know? You have a two and a half height advantage over Gervonta. Do you think your height will play a factor at all in the fight? I mean, it should. I mean, it's supposed to, you know? I mean, I don't know. I see short people be tall people all the time, but the height shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I mean you, you're born with what you got, so I mean... You got to make the most of it. Has he, do you think that with, you have been antagonizing him and and been very vocal about your dislike and your disdain for him, do you think you've gotten into his head at all? I live rent free in there. My whole team lives rent free in there. And why do you say that? And not just his head, Calvin, all of them over there, we all live rent free in, all the, in their heads. And I don't know, I'm making him act a little irrational lately, you know? I mean, he's acting different with me than he does with everybody else, no? In terms of what, though? Like getting involved in these verbal confrontations? Yeah, he doesn't really do that. I don't know. He, he has these, like, ups and downs. Like, he's been a little weird lately. Now he's been really quiet. I think he's scared. I think he's scared. I know he's scared. And you know that just based on your back and forth that you've been over the past couple press conferences? I mean, I could just tell he's scared. He's worried out of his mind and his legacy is about to end. You have supreme confidence coming into this fight. You proclaimed to me last week and throughout all of camp, it's going to be a one-round knockout. Do you still believe, three days away, that it's going to be such a short night on Saturday night on Showtime pay-per-view here at Barclays Center? I've been calling a first-round knockout for the last four years, so, yeah, we're going to keep going with that. He's going to knock down one round. You told Jim Gray last year, after your victory over Anthony Yigit, that you wanted Gervonta Davis, and that was back in July of last year. July 17th. July 17th. So you know the exact date. July 17th. Yeah, of course I know the date. So it literally, it's almost like you manifested this. 
I manifesting this shit for what, last four or five years. Honestly, the first time I laid my eyes on him, it was it was it was in in 2015, and I knew it was gonna happen that moment. And I wasn't even pro yet. I already knew. I already knew the fight was gonna happen one day. So you guys knew that you were destined to be, you know, inside the ring against one another. I don't know if he knew, but I knew for sure. How do you separate? The emotional side and also focusing on the task at hand with your ring eye crew, UQ, and really dialing into your game plan. I don't really have emotion when I go into the ring. I don't really... People are like, oh, Rolly, you're always angry, you're always angry. I'm not angry, I'm just focused. And that's how I get when I get focused. So I don't really see no, no need to be angry. Um... I mean, yeah, I just don't get angry when I fight, or I'm not emotional when I fight. Now, this performance on Saturday, what would being able to say and hear Jimmy Lennon say and the new lightweight champion of the world mean to you? It mean the world. It mean the world. What are you hoping to do to Gervonta Davis on Saturday night in a perfect world for Rolly Romero? Is it one punch? Is it a combination of punches? How does the fight end? One punch. So left hook is what you're saying? Anything. Anything. I knock him out with a damn jab. Any punt that land, going to knock him out. And my last question to you, what are you hoping this performance signals to the rest of the lightweight division? I don't care about the lightweight division. The only, the only thing on my mind right now is Javante Davis. Roly, good luck. We'll allow you to work out here at Gleason's Gym here in Brooklyn. Rolando Roly Romero, certainly one of the most unique personalities in boxing. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen.